Visio safe. What I love is that we're going from hardware to cameras to sensors to social to Visio safe. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here. Um, so uh, let's first start for, with one fact. In 2011, um, more than 10 million websites were using a Google Analytics tool. Um, so it's a must-have tool if you want to measure uh, the effectiveness of your online presence. Uh, but about the same time, we noticed with my uh, co-founder that um, we don't have such tool in the real world. We are all also navigating in the physical space, not only in website, and therefore, uh, we decided to, to provide the same service. And my name is Alexandre. I'm a postdoc in uh, Stanford University, and I've spent almost the past decade um, developing smart cameras to understand human behavior in, in extreme case. And as a result, uh, we wanted to, to offer the service to any environment. And by environment, I mean uh, such a retail store. Uh, so we started with a retail market uh, to understand the path of purchase, the number of visitors, and what is the conversion rate in this environment. But we wanted to address more challenging um, environment as well, uh, such as a large uh, trade show or even more challenging, uh, train terminals, such as the Penn Station uh, in New York. And we have done it. So here is an illustration of a corridor uh, in a train terminal where we are collect, detecting and tracking a pedestrian uh, in real time um, in a high accuracy, uh, about 10 centimeters accuracy on the ground um, in, in such uh, space. So our unique selling proposition is the fact that we can handle crowded environment um, and we can scale to any space by fusing information across uh, sensors. So we can either use um, existing cameras, uh, also place our own uh, set of sensors. And we are only um, locating uh, people on the ground, and that's the only information that we are capturing. So it's completely privacy uh, safe. We are not connecting to any cell phone, and we are not using any images uh, to, uh, uh, to capture this uh, occupancy of people on the ground. And we can deploy to any public space. And given this trajectory, similar to Google Analytics, we extract statistics such as the number of visitors, uh, the density in different spaces, the flow in and out, and provide that in any tablet. Um, so our technology uh, has, um, I mean, the patent is accepted, issued. Uh, we also won research awards. Um, and, and I'm actually pleased to announce that after, um, I mean, last year, we were able to collect more than 70 million human path all over the world. And this is thanks to our international clients. Uh, let me briefly present you some of them. Uh, we have installed our technology in, in Korea, um, and without going there, of course. Um, <laughs> and, and their motivation was to differentiate between cars and uh, human or bicycles uh, to do uh, this counting uh, service in the, in the parkings. We have also installed our sensors in Spain, in uh, Telefonica stores. Uh, they are interested in uh, optimizing the layout to increase their revenue, but also offer a better service to the customer. So they are measuring the waiting time in line, but also the service time, uh, so that uh, they can um, reduce their cost. Uh, and finally, um, so the same, I mean, Telefonica store, they installed that in every location uh, in the country, but you can even think it worldwide and they are able to compare across sites and uh, the performance of any uh, site since we are offering a cloud-based solution. Everything is centralized in a web interface. Um, and in Switzerland, um, uh, we believe that we are one of the first solutions that is able to track um, hundreds, thousands of pedestrians per day in terminals, uh, and, and, and they are using it to actually identify the level of service um, and to identify where they should modify uh, in terms of physical construction, the space to still address the future demand of commuters. Fantastic, round of applause, thank you very much.